away. But um, there's quite an interesting story behind this one, and it is true. I promise you. Um, it was actually, I was about 19 years old, um, I, I, maybe 20. I'd started university. I was going to Lincoln University, and um, my sister got me a job working as an usher at um, the, sta the stadium in Christchurch. I think it's called Horncastle. I'm not sure if it was called that back then, but, um, but it was a Bob Dylan concert. And she said, do you want a job? They need some ushers for Bob Dylan. Um, I was like, sure, yeah, okay. And I didn't really know much Bob Dylan music at the time, to be honest. I, was, I didn't play guitar at all. I'd only just started probably a few weeks after that, so um, maybe I was inspired. But um, I, was, I was working, and, and I was backstage, and um, this big African-American guy who was backstage, he came, he came up to me, and he pointed at me, and he went, you, come with me. And I was like, what have I done wrong? You know, am I going to get thrown out or something? I um, didn't know what happened. And he, and he took me off, and he... And he Took me outside the dressing rooms and he said stand here i want you to wait here for the next 10 minutes and you are going to be bob dylan's personal security guard <laughs> for the next 10 minutes <laughs> and don't let because i've got something else to do don't let anybody through here <laughs> and i'm this like little scrawny 19 year old 20 year old at the time going okay yeah sure if anybody comes past it's like like your size i'm not going to have a hope in hell <laughs> so, <laughs> so um so I did, and then eventually he came back 10 minutes later and he took me away. And, but in, in the meantime, I guess this is the most important part of the story, is that the, I could hear them playing the songs in the room. I could hear them on their guitars. And then Bob Dylan, who I knew who he, who he was, walked out and was standing next to me at the time. And I'm like, I know who this guy is. You know, it's, it's a pretty significant um, kind of moment in my life. So I kind of took it in and looked at him. And um, I was actually born before I went back into the room that I wasn't allowed to look at him because he, he hates people looking at him. So I was kind of like, you know, <laughs> can I look at you? And then, and then I, I got taken back out into the kind of rear behind the stage and, and they said, right, Bob Dylan's about to come out and he's going to go on stage. And just to let you all know, he hates people looking at him. So everybody's got to turn their back. So everybody in the room had to turn their back and we all stood, and I, of course I was, oh, I've already seen you, so I was like this, going, yeah, yeah, I've already seen you, so um, I thought it was quite funny. So I wrote, I wrote this song, um, kind of about how I met Bob Dylan, and um, I've never played it live before, so let's, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Speak a word unless somebody asks Mr. Dylan You don't know my name But I have to say That on that day My life will ever change Mr. Dylan It's really the same As someone else To share the world the moment that we share If the guitar slide Music came alive From your dressing room I recognize the old poetic tune Taken from your side Borrowed some of your pride Used it for my own And shared it with the world in which I've grown you're never on your own Even though you asked I turn my back And look the other way Listen to them One day I share my soul So that someone else Can spread the word Other than myself I 
saw you next was a crowded room You don't seem to care Everyone has thrown aside their chairs Moving to the front They reached out to church They love you so much Words you speak make them delirious They miss it to them You don't know my name I'll never be that same